Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last video, we got to Rail Crossing and talked to the people there. We discovered that the Faceless have invaded someone's shop, someone named Buzzer. And thankfully, they did not attack the rest of the station. Rail Crossing tried to attack them to drive them off and lost three people, and another was heavily wounded during their attempt. We have a quest to make a job easier for us to assist Rail Crossing by finding this um, active pulse capacitor inside a facility that we were told about. And then went around and we did we sold some stuff, we explored a few tunnels, and I'm now back here at Southgate Station. Off screen, I created a slightly better steel sledgehammer. This one's damage is 36, 36 through 56. Our old one was 34 through 54, and it's the same level, level 13. Let's go ahead and break down our old hammer for 133 scrap. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and put that scrap here. I also crafted a handful of MK2 EMP grenades. One of the few grenades I actually can create in the game. It's always best to use the best grenades you can. In the case of these EMP grenades, as you see, these do 65 through 105 damage and stun robotic enemies for two turns. The old ones did 30 through 45. Oh, oh it also stunned the enemies for uh, two turns. All right, I thought it was one turn for that. Okay, but the damage is easily doubled for the for the MK2 grenades, so we'll be glad to have them. All right, well, with that done, let's head on out. And do some more exploring. Did I do anything else off screen? I don't think so. I stopped by Foundry really quick to look at the metal they were selling there for that better hammer. Let's go. Let's go to the caves. I think we'll try a, our wits against a few crawlers. I've been avoiding crawlers because of how tricky they are. But they are worth quite a bit of experience points to us at this low level. Yep. Alright, well, let's do it. So, I think we'll explore this area today, down here, south of Junkyard. It's not too dangerous for us. Oh, which reminds me. We'll probably end up fighting some Psy Beetles. Oh, I wonder if the Mole Crickets are still here and my food expired. We'll take some stuff bat. The tiny bit of detection. Well, it, actually, Tim, it's not going to help you against crawlers. I will take it anyway. So, I wonder if the bull crickets are still here. I guess they are. Oh! Or they're not. Were they here, originally? Yes, alright, they're gone. How about that? Alright, well, let's stick some dynamite here. I think after this video, I think I will stop. Something that occurred to me is I really like being able to answer your guys' questions and or uh, talk to you. Uh, actually, by actually talking to you. <laughs> As opposed to leaving comments on my own videos addressing your comments. And if I am like 18, 28, or 40 videos ahead of where my uploads are, that's, that's never going to happen. So I need to delay my uploads. It's just, this is so much fun. It's so much fun. I, I love just playing un under rail. I guess we're going to wander up this way. So we're just exploring today, everyone. More, and it looks like the cave tunnels today. I 
really pretty area here. Lake Poppy, that's morphine. I need to find an area that has many Lake Poppies. I don't want to buy morphine anymore. We do not need to buy adrenaline. And I think this list leads back to the area we've been in already. It does, okay. Just want to get that connector on our map. And then I can kill that, because we have gone south. Alright, Tim, so what's what's on the agenda? So, once we finish, once we hit level 13, we will do a few quests for Rail Crossing and for Camp Hawthor. And that should probably get us... If not to level 14, very close to it, or slightly past it. Once we hit level 14, then we can try Foundry. The earlier we, we do Foundry and its quests, the faster we'll be able to unlock Super Steel. And get Tychrome as a type of metal we'll be able to use. Are there pigs in this area? There are pigs in this area. Or the little one just slaughter the big guy. Oh my god, poor pigs. I love it. It's so efficient. It's so fast to play this character. It, granted, the, the penalty is, is you have no movement points whatsoever. Uh oh. Uh, we're gonna activate. Actually, let's sprint toward the big guy. They can't charge if you're right next to them. It's so different from what I'm used to. The only other character that I, I had that played like this was a character named uh, Grim Aegis. You know what? Why don't... Hold on. I'll, well, I don't think you guys care to... Well, maybe I'll show him off at the end of this video. We have more rocks. I don't need to do this, but we'll blow them up. I like clearing out all the rocks that we come across in case I'm wandering down here for some for some reason. And I want to go up this way. There we go. Clears that. Uh, do I want to head down? I do. Oh, okay. I think this is a way down to Deep Caverns. This is where Garrett came up from. Yep. Note the symbol here. You'll want to remember that's there. Wait, that was a waste. That was a MK1 HE grenade. We don't care about that. And we know we can't take this. All right. What else, Tim? You're not talking a whole lot today. All right, sorry about that, everyone. Um, I guess we can... Well, what do you want to talk about? We should focus on, on under-rail-related topics. 
So, again, I really like this type of character. The metal armor makes me feel invincible while wearing it. The off... Oh, what's that? No. What's one of the, the downside of this armor, though, is no movement points for our build. We could drop the helmet, but I like having that... I like having that decreased crit chance from the enemies. That is very, very nice. It's only weapons, I think, though. Is that correct? Not, like, psychic powers. Yes. Weapon and unarmed attacks does not affect psychic powers. God, psychic powers are so unbalanced. <laughs> I guess we'll talk about psychic powers for a little bit. So, I have a few psychic characters that I'm playing the game with. I have one character who has three different psychic powers. He's metathermics, um... Temporal manipulation, and I think uh, telekinesis, and oh, I, and he has stealth, and oh my god, it's so easy. <laughs> the game, all the difficulty of the game gets sucked right out of it when you play uh, psychic characters. Uh, let's let them come to me, because there's more than just that one young one there. Sprint around the corner. Around the corner. And we can reach you with the pummel. Not worth an adrenaline. Oh! It is worth an adrenaline. There's a third there. Yes, it is totally worth an adrenaline. We'll get, we won't get stunned because we have thick skull, but I don't even want to be dazed. Now, the good news about these is that they do not... They do not have hypothermia. And now, you don't have cryokinesis any longer. All right. Ah, oh, just brought to 85%. That's a shame. So we, if you want to, uh, let's use one of our normal health hypos. Still can't one hit them. So the thing about this build again, everyone, is that this is not an optimized build. Most people who play psychics as a psychics, uh, sledgehammers will probably tell you that you should be putting. Hey, the cave dragon tail, nice. It's a oddity item which is not. It's not super rare, but it's not easy to get. I've had to farm cave hoppers for like 40 minutes trying to get it to drop. It's worth two points, so you should definitely keep, try to kill cave hoppers until it drops, especially early on. It's so you need all those points. Need some dynamite here. Um, they'll probably recommend that you drop your perception to 3, your dex to 3, your willpower to 3, you increase your strength to 10, and you increase your strength every single level. You'll end up with 16 to 18 strength at the end of the game if you do that. Which means that you can also use Baylor's hammer, which is an amazingly powerful hammer as a weapon. But I don't... You're so weak in other aspects of the game. Like, you you won't see any traps, ever. Your detection will be useless. You will have very weak social skills if you care about intimidation. You can't throw grenades very well unless you dump a lot more skill points into it because all your points are going to strength. But you'll hit like a truck or a tank. You'll hit like a tank that shoots trucks. It's a, it's amazingly strong. But I, I don't know. I don't like min-max characters very much. So, And I think our build is doing pretty well. I think you're doing pretty well, but we are also playing. I see you guys. Let's, let's kill you. Ah! Oh, only one of you. Oh, you're dead. Nice, we get a heart. Nothing else worth it, though. Oh, fishing. I should be doing fishing. 
Uh, we should do fishing here. We're in this area. It's probably, I think, just eels in this area, but we'll we'll fish. Hello, cave hoppers. You are. Oh, you're not so lucky. You're not so lucky. We'll never catch that other one. Hello. I guess we'll just take this garbage. All right, let's go. Let's go fishing. And then we can drop the junk I don't need. And the same. I don't really need these, Ooh, especially not quality 16 or 14. Good God, it's just garbage. Coal. All right. Well, I guess one use of coal could come in handy. Are you really just running past me? <laughs> Is that how that works? Let's think. We don't need quality 21. There's gotta be some eels in here. Yellow puckerfish, that's good, that's more blood. An anglerfish, nice, that's another one we need we need to show the gentleman. Mr. Old Geezer. A shrimp, right, we need a shrimp as well. One more? Actually, no, that was four fish. Let's take this back and try a different zone. Is there? No, I don't think there's siphoners in this area, but we will try fishing in this little pool. Let's see if we get anything after a little bit. I get lots of it got aways using Gabriel. It's going to be so important that we actually learn the feet on him to stop this from happening. One more. A yellow pucker fish. Let's switch positions. I think I can, I think I'll occasionally get a shrimp from this area. Okay. But we we might have needed to take decks. Of food to increase our chance. Yeah, this is not working out. T tie chrome spikes. Really? What quality? Ah, uh, low level quality. Okay. Um, you know what, everyone? We're also going to change the food. We really don't need what we have at the moment. Let's take. Let's take some root soda. We have a nice big area to fish in here. I think we'll put our fishing rod down. This area is filled with siphoners, if I recall correctly, as well. Four attempts at each fishing rod placement. Oh, darn it, it did it again. So this is how everyone, you get that electrolyte because you need blue eels to get it. Oh, nothing's biting here at all. All right, let's, we'll stay at super hyper mode. Okay, hello, enemies. Uh, we'll just move up and try to pummel you. It won't, do the too much, it won't do enough damage that we have to worry about you actually trying to siphon us. We're dazed, but we'll be okay.
He may try to siphon us now, though. Let's move over here. We'll activate our shield as well. You're the hurt one. Darn it! Couldn't kill him. We'll sprint, we'll shout. Ah, and he went the other way. Okay, so this one is totally going to siphon us. So you like being off balance as well. And stunned and dead. Fifty-nine siphoner leather isn't bad. Sixty-four or so is what I try to aim with if I'm going to try to make some siphoner uh, armor. Wait here a little bit with our fishing rods. See if we can get more bites. Mini head. That's more blood. Come on. Come on. Lots of mini heads here. Oh god. Right, we'll be okay. Let's move over here. Pummel you. Expose weakness. Move a bit up. I don't think you'll try to siphon us. Don't actually want to siphon, so I'm not going to attack. Oh, it, and it decided to siphon this turn anyway. Okay, well, that's stuck. Stuck? That's stunk. You're dead anyway. All right, what do we got? Yeah, it finishes up all that, all those oddly items. I guess we're taking all the skins with us. Let's heal. Let's fish. Actually, is there a... Oh, another siphoner. Oh, two more siphoners. All right, let's move up this way. Shout at them. Oh, nice. Off balance and dazed. Exposed weakness. So that they stunned. Wow! <laughs> Dead. Got you anyway, you jerk. We normally would have been stunned, but we're only dazed instead, thanks to Thick Skull. Oof, good hit. We'll stun you to stop you from siphoning us. Lake Poppy and do some more fishing. Nice. This has been pretty real. Oh, we're almost full of um, weight. I like to get what's getting away. I have no clue what it could be, though. Come on. There we go. Darn it. Darn it. Our dex is so low. Oh, well. For that. What do I have that's weighing me down so much? I think all these skins are. Let's see if. So, I only really need the best skin if I'm interested in selling it, and even then, it's not worth very much. We'll convert this into leather armor. Oh, most of this is not very good anyway. Then we go to our recycle item. Ooh, lots of fabric scraps for breaking down siphoner leather, though. That's useful to know. Wow, a lot of scraps. Holy crap. All right, now we go to repair kits. Didn't really free up that much inventory space, did it? How many mini heads do we have? Six mini heads, 24 pounds carried on that. All right, we should be okay. 
We'll do a little more fishing. Heal up a bit as well. Hello. We're right next to you, Siphoner. That's right, not enough. To siphon us, not enough action points. Is that the last of you? I think it was. Yep, okay. We'll fish in this area as well. Might as well. Really wish my deck was a little higher. Actually, no, I don't wish for that. I wish, I wish for nothing like that. Oh, that's right. I don't want to waste a wish on plus one decks. Oh, come on! Come on, fish. Extended magazine. That's not a fish at all. Using pistols and SMGs. Okay. All right. That's good enough, I suppose, for all the fishing. This is what I think is the Cave Hopper graveyard. They come here to die. It's interesting. Just like whales, I think. Wonder why they whales, elephants. Elephants go. Elephants have an elephant graveyard. <laughs> whales. Whales. I say whales. Why did I say whales? Large, large mammal. Is that why? So dumb. I think this is our first area that has. Yup, crawlers in it. Oh ho! We blocked that. We blocked that. Hello, crawler. All right, let's see how well we do we we'll deal with these guys. I think we daze it. I think we pummel it. There's another one around here. He wasn't within shouting range. He wasn't within sight of our torch either. There he is. Hello, Crawler. How are you doing? Oh, another one. That one actually managed to hit us with its poison. Got through our armor. Level up! So the good news about this is that we can't be stunned. We can only be dazed. I'll wait for you. I'm patient. Let's do it. I will search the corpses, I suppose, while we're waiting for you to show up. Tase you this round to stop you from running. But yeah, I have to say, I don't think I'm going to get lucky enough to pummel you. Ah, that's a shame. Okay, so he's going to totally run away now. Annoying. Very annoying. Oh, but we saw where you were. Unfortunately, we're dazed. I can't recharge our taser as well. Let's get some distance. He's probably right next to me. He's there he is. Okay, now he's got to be right next to me. 
He's he is okay. Uh, I still can't daze him, so we can't prevent him from leaving. Okay, we we so this is going to be really annoying because I can't st I can't stop him from from leaving. Okay, good. Okay, all right. Well, vic victory. That wasn't so bad in the end, and we leveled. Let's search the rest of this location. Let's quick save as well. So crawlers aren't going to be they're not going to be too dangerous for us. Just annoying to fight, especially if I decide I want to play without the. Like, without any zoning. Uh, our taser needs more energy power. If I, So, this this is showing me that, yeah, I, would, I wanted a taser that I could use more often in combat. Oh, well. I don't have it at the moment. That, was, that wasn't so bad. How much were the... Ooh, nice! 408 experience points as well to us at the moment for just normal crawlers. Alright, let's also level. So, this is just a odd level, so we don't get anything really special. Oh, but we do level our biology to 80, so I can break down that one, uh, the walking fish. There we go. Yeah, it's like you're fighting lictors in uh, in Warhammer 40k, I suppose. Uh, we'll break down these rocks too. All right, and that's that whole area swept and cleaned. Let's go to Junkyard and show the fish to Old Man Geezer. We'll visit Fixer and see if he's got any more ampules. And then we can break down some stuff to blood. Stop by Southgate Station. Sell some stuff. Store some stuff. And then, of course, City might have refreshed their inventory. We'll head over there, sell some stuff, pick up some more dynamite if it's available. And then, we're level 13, so I guess we'll head to Camp Harthor, and we'll begin trying to complete the Rathound King quest. Ah, uh, well, you're just one, as are I. Not even worth picking that up. How are you doing, by the way, on Azerite brains? It's been a while since I looked at my oddy items. Oh, uh, only two of three. All right, only two of three. There's still quite a few that we would have to... Quite a few rooms to have more of them in, in it. Did the rat hounds respawn? Sometimes they do. No, not in this area. Okay, so this area must not have respawning enemies. Do I want to fish here a little bit? What type of fish would I find? Pentapuses? Yeah, let's fish here. I can't carry much more weight, though, Tim. In fact, you can only carry, like, two fish. So whatever you get. Just two of it. Mini head, one more fish. Or none. All right, no more fish. Oh, accidentally, accidentally fish, and we take a, we get a pentapus. Nice.
Hello, junkyard. Hey! Abram wants to see you, if you're up for some action. He's waiting for you in the caves west of the junkyard gate. Dangerous stuff is about to go down, so if you're coming, come well prepared. Got it. Thanks for the info. Still don't know, because I haven't... I have, I'm like five or six videos ahead of my uh, uploads. If you guys think I should do the Abram quests or not. So I'll wait to do that until I get your opinions. Hello, Kareem. Well, as long as I'm here, let's talk with you. And you'll buy that food stuff. You'll buy fish as well. Um, I guess we can trade this for one. No, we can't. All right, I'll just take some. I'll take three charons for that then. These guys are probably recycled their inventory as well, but I want to break down. Actually, let's take the. Let's take this gun and these bullets. We're overweighted, but we'll be alright. Hello, Len. So I want to sell you this and the bullets, and that will be most of your cash. I know you're not selling anything I'm interested in, because all your stuff is lower level. Oh, well actually, I could use more thin grenade cases, so we'll take that. It's so nice not to be as scared of crawlers. If we can block their sting, if we get lucky enough for that, then we're, we don't even get dazed. And Thick Skull, oh, that's very nice, but I would really, to take advantage of that, I would need a lot of movement points. Fixer, I'll purchase some apples from you. Talk to Mr. Ford. You again, about that fishing challenge. Yeah, I need like five more fish. I caught a slack jaw. He smells the fish frowning as he does so. That's the smell. When you buy these, they mostly don't smell this bad. I don't know what they do to them. Still, you caught this one. Good work. No, I didn't, geezer. That's the funny part. You still got more to catch. I still need to see an angler fish, a demon squid, a ghost face, and a shrimp. I call it an angler. He takes a look at it. That's an angler fish, all right. Look at them teeth. You still got three more fish. Got it. Off to do some fishing. Try not to drown. I think it's the ghost face. That's it. Normally, you could only get it in one of two places. Alright, let's uh, break down all these fish bits. So we can break down the pentapus. Oh. No, I can't. Pentapus requires flat beakers. No, it requires this. All these mini heads. For the blood, we can break down the adrenaline. A blue. Oh, not a blue eel. Those need flat beakers. Can't break down the anglerfish. We need 100 biology. Pufferfish, we can. Here we can. Crawler poison and one anticoagulant. All right, let's get on the boat back to Southgate Station to drop all this stuff off and get our weight down. I'm really big on making sure I'm not overburdened and there's no threat of it occurring. I don't like being overburdened. You suffer movement and action point penalties if for being overburdened. Maybe even accuracy penalties, I can't remember. I, I almost never fight if I'm carrying too much stuff. It's generally a big uh, red flag to me that, hey, you're carrying too much stuff, it's been a while, why don't you head back to Southgate Station and store your things? Oh, speaking of overweighted, let's get rid of a few of our mechanical repair kits to get you back up.
quickly is fine. Our armor, we could also use repair. Captain, I need to go to Southgate Station. Alright, let's head to our... Our home, our apartment, and then... We'll head on over to Camp Harthor. Well, not Camp Harthor itself, but we'll begin trying to aim toward completing that quest. The Rathound King. We might actually have time to do it right now as well. The This is... I mean, I've done it before, but this is one of the first character. Not one of the first. One of the characters I have who doesn't have any traps. So, I'm not going to feel obligated to take any of the traps, or try... Obviously, we'll fail to disarm them from the huge amount of traps which are which will be all over the place guarding the Rathound king saddle adrenaline we can take out these fish Take out some of our flat beakers. Our ampules. Alright, let's continue to extract humors. Oh, can't can't do anything with the anglerfish, Tim. What would we get for macrophage fluid? And then we have some mushrooms to process. I probably should not pick up any more caviars. We're not going to really take advantage of poisons with this character, I think. Gabriel doesn't look like he's a poison user to me. I'm down to one single morphine. What are you? Macrophage fluid, geometrin, caviar poisons, unsaturated catalysts. Oh, I still have. Oh, we're out of. Ampules. All right, let's store you. All the creature parts can be stored. Actually, we'll just vendor those. I don't need the grenade cases with me. We don't need the bottles. I don't need the slack jaw. While we're here, let's visit Pascal and see if he's selling any more ampules for us. Oh, I should have checked the dock in Rail Crossing for special blueprints. He is not selling any of what I want. All right, then. Camp Harthor actually might have some. While we're here, since I have some, some of this stuff in my inventory, let's go to the Engineering and Cyber Labs and sell these Tychrome blades there. Spikes. Harold, you are not selling anything I think I need. All lower level stuff. No blueprints I don't know. We'll just take a handful of credits. Quentin, hello, sir. We're here to sell you these. We'll sell both of them to him. And uh, can we take... We can take all more, the Molotovs. We may want a few of these. Oh, you know what, though, Tim? You don't have Red Deer, so you can't really throw these very often. It's a four-turn cooldown. I think you'd rather have Magnesium Powder. We'll grab one of these.
chemical pistols. All right, nothing else I'm interested in. And five credits for that. All right, let's get over to Camp Harthor. It's so close, we'll just, we're just gonna walk there as well. It'll give us an excuse to kill a few rat hounds on the way, assuming that they respawned. How's your inventory? Perfect. Under 100 pounds. It's so fun! I just love this game. This is so much fun. I, I, I can't describe how enjoyable I find this game. How all these different builds seem to... If... With some knowledge about how the game mechanics work, combat and what have you, how much fun it is to try to create a build and see how... how far you can take it. And if you can build viable builds. Especially given how often the internet wants you to build builds which are min-maxed. And again, I know I mentioned this before, there's nothing wrong with a min-max build. You want to build a character like that, some people find that incredibly fun. To make a character who just, like, steamrolls everything. Every single point is spent efficiently. I like building characters who are thematic. And thus, and thus often are not min-maxed. All right, Alpha. Oh, I don't even need to pummel you anymore. Oh, you actually did some damage to me with a normal bite. Interesting. Yeah, you're doing normal damage. What the heck? How are you getting through my armor? That's weird. I didn't. Ex I did not expect that they should be able to do that. Actually, Camp Arthur's right up ahead. We can sell that useless leather for a handful of scraps since we're going that way anyway. I do feel a little bit like Alphabet when I carry garbage around with me, but because we are going to hit this merchant right now, uh, Camp Arthur. Briefly, we may as well go ahead and pick up the skins. They often buy buy them there. Incredible. Poor rat hounds. Poor rat hounds. It's a shame there can be no modding community around this game. I, I myself would have liked to tweak a few feats if possible, or make a few of my own for leveling purposes. I can think of one that would make it so that your, uh, all your drugs that have a duration last one more turn. For example, a medical feat that requires certain amounts of biology, or maybe even requires you to have a doctor originally as a, as a prerequisite feat for it. Hey, want to hear a joke? Sure. Great, here goes. A rat hound walks into a bar. Oh, it walks in, and the barkeeper shoots it! <laughs> you dig? Because no one likes those dirty rat hounds! That's why he shot it! You dig? <sighs> yes. Funny. Yes. Now, I'd like to talk to you about something else. Uh, no problem. What do you need? What's for sale? <laughs> okay, so he sells ampules, which I want. And I guess I should pick up more syringes while I'm here. Ah, my favorite customer. Let's sell to him. He is buying raw leathers today, which is perfect. We can sell him this garbage. And what are you selling? 
nothing I'm interested in. At all. <laughs> nothing I'm interested in at all. Alright, well then we'll just take a handful of Charons for that. Next, let's break down some of the guts we've got. Alright, and now we will try to find and eliminate the Rat Hound King. have I been recording for? Actually, I don't know. Darn it. It feels like I've been recording for an hour, though, everyone. Uh, you know what? Okay, we'll do one more room, and then we'll call the session. So, let's go south here. Perception is not high enough to see the shortcut across that river. And that's a room we've already been in. I just want to get the connector marked on the map. And now we have technically explored south. Oh, good. More hearts. And you, again, we don't even need to use Pummel there. That was interesting. I wonder why you did that. <laughs> well done, sir. Your hammer could use repair now, though. Only problem with how easy it is to kill these is, is actually is I don't know how cost efficient it is because we have to use mechanical repair kits after like every second group of them. Okay, I do not need the crappy leather. Oh, but that all that means is that we break it down. Where are you, leather re leather armor? Then we recycle you. More Gitamitrin. Poison, I think. Not useful to not useful to us. It would be fun to make a poison using character. I don't think I've done that yet. Probably had to be a crossbow user. I guess I'd make a version of the Rat Hound King, or Queen. Crossbows. Lots of poison. Oh, I should stop here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna stop here. Alright, everyone. So, um, thank you guys for watching. And we come back. Actually, I'm also gonna wait to record the next part until my uploads are caught up. I will wait. And so, uh, it'll be probably two weeks or so until I get to record this game again at the, at the amount of videos I have in backlog. In any case, thank you guys for watching this one. I will see you all in the next one where we will handle the Rathound King. Look forward to that, and take care, everyone.